Hello guys, I am Muhammad Ammar and in this video I am going to talk about the last topic of the endocrine system or the endocrinology and the last gland of mammals endocrine system that is the gonads. Gonads is a sex gland or the reproductive gland and is a mixed gland that produces the gametes that is the sperms or the eggs these are produced by gonads and this also produce the hormones of an organism. There are two gonads that is testes which are present in case of the male and the ovaries which are present in case of the female. The gonads secrete hormones that help to regulate the reproductive functions as well as the reproductive structures of male and the female. First of all, we'll talk about the testes. The testes are the structure or the organs which are covered in the scrotum. These produce the hormones that are the testosterone and the inhibin. The testosterone act with the LH and the follicle stimulating hormones that is the FSH and which are produced by the adenohypophysis and this helps to stimulate the spermatogenesis. So the sper process of spermatogenesis that is the production of the sperm is regulated by the action of testosterone with LH and FSH hormones. Testosterone is also necessary for the growth and maintenance of the sex organs. It promotes the development and maintenance of sexual behavior and in case of humans it stimulates the growth of facial and pubic hairs as well as enlargement of the larynx which deepens the voice. We know that the voice of the male is uh, heavy in case of as compared to the female. So the next hormone that is the inhibin. The inhibin has only under one function that is the inhibition of the secretion of FSH. The next gonad we are going to discuss that is the ovaries. As we know that the ovaries are present in case of female and this produce four classes of major hormones that is estrogens, progestins, relaxin and inhibin. The estrogens include estrin, estrone and estradiol. These are the estrogens and they help regulate the menstrual and the estrous cycle and the development of the mammary gland and the female scanty sexual characters. All these functions are maintained and regulated by the estrogens that is estrin, estron or the estradiol. And the next that is the progesterins. It may include primarily the progesterone. Progesterone hormones regulate the menstrual and the estrous cycle and the development of the mammary glands and it airs in the placenta formation during the pregnancy. So, estrogens help to regulate the menstrual and estrous cycle and it helps to maintain uh, the development of the mammary glands and it aids or helps in the formation of the placenta during the pregnancy. The next is the relaxin. It is produced in small quantities and softens the opening of the uterus that is the cervix at the time of the delivery. So when it is time of delivery, the opening of the uterus need to be softened or it need to be wide. So it uh, is done by the hormone that is the relaxin. The next hormone that is the inhibins. The inhibin is also produced by the ovary and here it also inhibits the secretion of FSH. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. If you want more videos, please subscribe my channel and press bell icon button to receive the notification of the coming videos.